Yo, it's Randall Cobb, number 1818, and they like math, you know? I'm Brian Erlacher, 5'4 equals 9. I'm for the Chicago Bears Linebacker Hall of Fame. Randall, did you ever like math, and why? Well, I've always liked math in my early years. Um, it has always influenced me to become a better person and do better things. Like, well, for instance, becoming a football player, I needed to get through college and all the schools to even get a degree and become a football player. And look what I came out to be. I mean, like, you know, better team than them. Right. what about you and math? Uh, I've always liked math. Um, it's been with me since preschool, since now. I've been working with it for a long time, and it really helped me in my early ages. 5, 10, 15, 20, 2500. Well, I've always liked fractions and decimals and things like that. Those are probably my top two. I can't really choose between them. And I've always got those. I've always, I've memorized a lot of things in those. I just specialize in them, you know? And what about you? What's your favorite of math? Uh, mine's same with his. Fractions, decimals, and percents. They're all used together. Um, it really, I really used them in fifth grade and fourth, and it was probably what we studied the most. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. What percentage of times do you think the Bears beat the Packers? That's pretty low. Honestly, math has started me from first grade all the way to now. Um, <laughs> um, I have always got it right away, but there has been some times I've stubble, stumbled and fallen between the years because it's... It can get hard. It takes time to learn it. Um, I've been using it since counting blocks to using fractions and decimals and ratios. Um, it's probably was the, uh, I probably learned most math in fourth grade and fifth. In those years, could you count how many points the Packers beat the Bears by? It's too high. <laughs> Uh, Randall, what are some times you have used math outside of the classroom? Well, I, in, during summer, even though school's out and everybody's hanging out with their friends, I'm still using math to figure things out that I just don't want to bug me in the future. I've used it a lot during summer just so I can like keep up with math even though uh, I don't know what's coming up the next year. One million, two million, three million, four million, five million. I started learning math, like I said before, first grade, second grade, this places, that, um, grades that I started, and then I started getting it throughout third, fourth, and fifth, and I have liked it since. And what about you, Brian? Um, I've started in preschool, like I said, counting blocks and stuff. Uh, arranging them from one, two, three. I'm always looking to improve my math skills even when you don't even need to use them. For some places and times, I just incorpor it's incorporated in everything and I like to use it in everything. Very good. Um, what are your goals, Brian? Um, well, I always try to do math during the summer just so it'll be easier. And um, I usually just try to get a good percentage on my test. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. I really have never liked, honestly, I don't know. I've, I've liked a lot of math, but a lot of times I just don't like addition. <laughs> it's too easy. It's too easy for me, you know? <laughs> Probably using geometry. Never really liked it with um, like um, per perimeter area. It's just not that fun. I'm doing a math career. 
probably wouldn't be that much fun. It's just kind of numbers, yeah. like accounting and stuff. But like I said before, math is incorporated in everything and everything that is. So you can't really deny it, but it, it can probably get boring if you have, make a living out of it. And just football is so much better. I'd probably like teaching my favorite subject, subjects and the ones that I specialize in, like decimals and fractions and things like that, numerators, denominators, common denominator, common numerator, things like that, and a lot of division and multiplication. If you could teach math, what would you teach? Probably my favorite, favorite subjects are percentage, decimals, and fractions or something that I know about but I'm not good at, so I can learn that too. Yeah, we do. I want to improve all of the things that I don't know yet or that could be could exist in math. I want to improve on um, letter problems and equations and a lot of things like that. Brian, how do you want to improve? Ratios and geometry. They're not fun, so like I didn't participate a lot just because I didn't know a lot. Usually it's not fun when you don't know a lot, so I'd probably want to learn that just so it'd be more fun. I can tend to differ around math and types of math, like geometry. Just like how your stats are so low. And Brian, um Final question for you. Do you ever not like math? Probably during tests when they're hard, just because it's frustrating not knowing the answer. And um, just trying to learn something that's really hard. We're going to beat the Packers this year. Go Pack! Go!